Hello fellow problem solvers. So today we're going to be talking about the combinatorics that you need for the International Math Olympiad. How do you learn it? So now, without further ado, let's begin. As always, what you need to do is you need to solve problems in combinatorics. This is true for every single one of these four fields that are at the International Math Olympiad. And with combinatorics, there is an element of problem solving like you. Combinatorics at the beginner level is about turning words into equations and then solving them. That's what it is at the beginning. But later on, it becomes much more than that. It becomes very interesting. It can be games that you learn how to play and how to find winning strategies. You know, if, if there is, say, eight coins on a pile and at each turn, you and I, we're going to play alternately, and at each turn you can take one, two or three coins from the pile, Who's going to win? Would you like to play first or second? And these types of problems can get very, very interesting and very, very cool and can have a vast, they, they cover a vast area of mathematics. So now here's the, uh, the things you should look for in books that cover combinatorics. Number one is you really need to learn about the invariance principle. And I'll say, actually, I'll mention two good books for this. One is sort of an introductory type, maybe intermediate level book, which is Problem Solving Strategies by Engels. This book is amazing for combinatorics, for teaching you some basic principles, coloring proofs, the box principle, invariance, the extremal principle, induction, and games. Like these six things are very common principles in combinatorics. They're very useful that really many combinatorics problems are just them applied to more difficult and more interesting ways. And sometimes these problems that are difficult actually are an ingenious way or creative way of you using one of these principles. So that's one book I would recommend. Another one is the Olympiad Combinatorics by Pranav Sriram, I believe is the name. I'll link the book in the video description. And that's a book which covers algorithms, games, graph theory, even covers the probabilistic method, which is not used very often, but it can be useful sometimes in math competitions. So those are the two books. Now, what you really need to look for is the extremal principle, algorithms, invariance, teaches you something about games, double counting or counting things in two different ways, graph theory, at least a little bit, so you have some basic understanding of what it is, because you can look at a lot of problems through graphs. Other than that, there is uh, the extremal principle applied in many different ways, and that, I believe, is, oh, coloring proofs and the box principle or the pigeonhole principle that can be applied in so many different ways, shapes, and forms. And finally, I'll mention that you need to learn how to use induction. Because there's a quote that I heard, I'm not sure if it was by Gauss or someone else, but a mathematician is only as good as they know how to use induction. Which I think is pretty cool. And sometimes the problems, you really see that. So you can use induction in very, very, very creative ways. That's really all you need for combinatorics. Now, after you've done that, it's about problem solving. And a great competition to solve problems in combinatorics is the Tournament of Towns. I, I personally enjoy those problems very, very much because they don't require so much theory, but they are very smart. Sometimes they're so good because like you, you're using really just thinking. And combinatorics is about that. It's about you trying to solve problems at the most basic level. You're looking at different combinations. You're looking how you're going to count something in two different ways. Maybe globally, why can't something be the case? Or maybe locally, what happens if you nudge things around a little bit here, a little bit there? But really, there's these two books, the Tournament of Towns, and again, like there's different countries have different tastes of combinatorics problems. 
I personally like the Russian Combinatorics works problems. I think they're pretty cool. I mean, the Turner of Talents is Russian, I believe. Uh, the the European Girls Math Olympiad. You look at the Combinatorics works problems from the Junior Balkan Math Olympiad more so than the Senior one. The Senior one is okay, but the Junior ones are very very cool combinatorics works problems. Like some years, I saw very cool combinatorics works problems that make you think and that you can learn something from. And those are like the main competitions. Romania has also good combinatorics problems that I saw. And oh yes, Elmo and US competitions sometimes have good combinatorics problems as well. That's really all there is with me trying to tell you how you can solve combinatorics problems. And this finishes up like this video. Solve these, look at these two books. Or find other books with teach you these concepts and try to turn them with downs. Maybe look at a couple of Russian competitions, Romanian, US, Elmo was good. And as always, thanks for problem solving.